The center of the video gaming world was in Japan, as record numbers of video gaming press and enthusiasts flocked to the 2007 Tokyo Game Show. One of the most anticipated attractions was a presentation by Kazunori Yamauchi, producer of the Gran Turismo franchise, who unveiled an in-depth preview of Gran Turismo 5 Prologue. Please welcome Kazunori Yamauchi. Improvements were made in a very wide spectrum during the development process. Gran Turismo Prologue has two aspects. First, as a driving simulator, it is the most advanced form of all of the Gran Turismos. Second, it is the first title that can offer a new lifestyle to its players, which I call Gran Turismo Life. There are 40 different cars and 5 different tracks in 8 layouts. In terms of the automobile models, of course, Ferrari is one. We are also offering new Nissan GTR, which is the first Japanese super sport vehicle. Whatever car you drive, your view of the racing will be vastly improved. Driving simulator. In a driving simulation game, one of the most important aspects is how realistically it makes you feel that you are driving the car. Now we implemented the interior of the car, so if you are driving Ferrari, you'll see the inside of Ferrari and you can feel like being actually behind the wheel. This is a valuable improvement. All of these innovations are made possible through the talents of the dedicated geniuses at Polyphony Digital and the power of the PlayStation 3 cell processor. In order to take advantage of the high performance of PS3, we needed to come up with an optimal combination of program codes and data that functions on codes, such as tracks and vehicles. Otherwise, PS3 would never exhibit its full potential. Just taking an example of car modeling, one car model was roughly 5,000 polygons in Gran Turismo 4. Whereas we are looking at 200,000 polygons per car in GT5 Prologue. The joy we felt from achieving the kind of high performance we were aiming for was indescribable. As always, the proof of the game is in the playing. So what was the reaction at the Tokyo Game Show? The image was much cleaner than I expected, and I really felt the sensation of speed. So by doing simulation, I really felt I was driving a real car. We cannot tell you how grateful we are to see so many people waiting patiently in the line to try it out. It gives us the utmost pleasure to see a smile on their faces. Living up to high expectations for the last 10 years has been the norm for Gran Turismo because no one expects more from the franchise than Kazunori Yamauchi, a true competitor in his own right. In addition to implementing everything that has been known to make Gran Turismo great, we also tried something significantly different this time. Gran Turismo is celebrating its 10-year anniversary this year, and at this milestone, we are still far ahead of our competitors in making a new journey that takes us to unknown territory. That's the message I would like to convey. For the people at the Tokyo Game Show, this message was received loud and clear.